Hi, we are going to discuss about variables. So let's start with a story. So let's imagine we are sitting in a math class and teacher is giving us numbers to add. Okay, so the first the teacher gave us two numbers to add 10 and 20. Obviously, their answer is going to be spontaneous, right? We know the answer. So, but how we calculated it? So, actually, we stored the values in our brain. We memorized the values, right? And uh, the teacher gives another set of numbers, 30 and 40. So, again, we do the same thing. We memorize the numbers in our brain and we calculate it. Suppose uh, we want the computer to do this job. Computer also has to store the value somewhere for processing it, right? So, um, suppose we have a program to add two numbers, okay? And we are giving the values 10 and 20 as the input of the program, okay? So, where the program is going to store these values? So, for that, computer has variables. So, variables are containers for data values. Just like we memorize the numbers in our brain, we store the numbers in our brain. Computer stores the numbers in these containers. Okay, so uh, let's take an example. So we have the values 10 and 20, right? So in one container, we are storing the value 10 and in another container, we are storing the value 20. Okay, and for the first container, we are giving the name first number and for the second container, we are giving the name second number okay so we have first number in which we have the value 10 we have the second number in which we have the value 20 okay and after saving this after storing the values computer processes it right and we are giving another set of numbers for the computer to add so at that time what happens computer stores the value 30 in first number Okay, and 40 in the second number. Okay, and it processes the values. So, variables are containers for data values and also it can change its values. It can vary. The values can vary. Okay, so here we have a question um, about Danny. Danny is the smartest kid in his class. Okay, the teacher calls him in front of the class and asks him some questions in addition okay let's try that right so let's see what's happening in the class so we have Danny here in the classroom and he is ready to answer all the questions okay so we are running the program right Danny is asking please enter the first number so here we are entering 10 okay and Again, Danny is asking, please enter the second number. So, here we are giving 20. Okay. See, Danny is giving us the answer. He's really fast, right? Okay. So, here in the first number, the value 10 is getting saved. And in the second number, the value 20 is getting saved. Okay. So, first number is a container. And second number is also a container. Where we store all these values. Now, we are going to run the program again. Please enter the first number. We are giving the second set of numbers, 30 and 40. See that? Danny gives us the answer, right? And here, in the first number, now what's the value? 30, right? And in the second number, what's the value? It's 40. Okay? So, variables are containers for data values. And values can change. Suppose I'm going for another set of numbers. Let it be 12 and 2. There we go. First number now has the value 12. And second number now has the value 2. Okay. So, just take a look at the program also. So, here we are asking, please enter the first number. And the first number is getting saved into the variable first number and here we are asking for the second number and the second number is getting saved in the variable second number and then we are adding those two numbers 
Okay. And here we have block coding as well as text based coding. We are going to do the same program here also. So first we have to add two numbers, right? So here we are going to create variables. Okay. So create variable. We are giving first number. Okay. This is our first variable. And again, we are going to create variable second number. Okay. Okay. So here we are going to set first number to, we are going to just give a value here. So let it be one. Okay. And here again, we are going to variables take second number and we are going to give a value. Let it be two. Okay. So here we can see the corresponding Python code. Okay. First number is a variable. We are assigning the number, the value one to that variable. And here second number is another variable where we are assigning the value two. Okay. Now what's, what's the next step? We just have to add these two numbers, right? So we are going to print and then we are going to map. We have to take the addition operation and go to variables again because these variables contain our data values, right? So first number and again, second number. That's it. Okay. So we can see the Python code here, corresponding Python code here. Okay. First number equal to one, second number equal to two and print first number plus second number. And now we are going to see how we are going to write a program in Python. Okay. So here we have first number and the second number. Okay. We have two variables here, first number and second number. And only the thing that we have to do is we have to print the sum, right? So print first number plus second number. And here we can give the values. So let's give 10 and 20. Shall we run the program? Here we go. We got the result. We got the output 30, right? Now we are going to give another set of numbers 30 and 40. Run the program. We got the answer 70, right? 